Hello, it's Lucy, and today I'm going to be talking about college-likely letters. So I'll be covering what they are, when they're typically sent out, the difference between a likely letter and an early write, and also sharing my own experience receiving a likely letter from Cornell University. So let's get started. A likely letter is a message that is sent out to specific applicants that hints that they will likely get accepted to that institution. Some likely letters will come with an invitation to an event or program that the school is hosting so that the student can better get to know that school. The reason that universities send out likely letters is because they want to let their top applicants know that they're very interested in them and they want them to attend that school. So it engages interests with the current applicant and it, they hope that it will raise their yield rate. And the yield rate is just the amount of students who enroll after they are accepted. And yield rate is really important because it shows how desirable the college is based on how many students enroll after they are accepted. The difference between a likely letter and an early write is that a likely letter does not actually give the acceptance offer, whereas an early write gives the acceptance early on. So if you receive a likely letter, it is almost guaranteed that you'll get accepted, but you don't have the actual physical offer sitting in your hands. Whereas if you receive an early write, you're given that offer right at the spot. The only time a likely letter or an early write will get taken away is if something extremely negative happens to their application. So for example, they fail all their classes their senior year or something extreme like that. So likely letters are typically sent out anytime between mid-February and early March. I personally received my likely letter from Cornell University when I applied as a freshman um, in early March, and then I received my acceptance from Cornell in late March. My likely letter came in the form of a phone call, and I remember checking my voice messages and seeing one from an area code of Ithaca, New York, and when I played the message, it was a College of Human Ecology ambassador saying that they acknowledged that I applied to the College of Human Ecology and that they're interested in me. And if I want to know more about the College of Human Ecology, to call back or to reach out at a specific email. Many likely letters will also take this kind of form where they acknowledge that you are a strong applicant and they show their interest in you as an applicant. And then they may invite you to a program or an event so that you can better get to know that school. And then sometimes they will also acknowledge that this is not an actual acceptance letter, um, but to keep an eye out on when they release their decisions. Regarding which colleges send out likely letters, I know that all of the Ivy Leagues have sent out likely letters at some point in the past and many other prestigious institutions do this as well. It's also very common for student athletes to receive a likely letter because the school often knows ahead of time what athletes that they are recruiting. Now, it's important to keep in mind that the vast majority of students do not receive a likely letter from the institutions that they are applying to. I read online that less than 10% of accepted applicants receive a likely letter, and that 10% is including student athletes. So there's a very low amount of students who are non-student athletes who receive likely letters. So if you have not received a likely letter, don't worry seriously, because most students do not receive a likely letter, even if they are accepted. However, if you did get a likely letter, you should be very happy to know that you are one of the school's top applicants and they're very interested in you and you'll most likely get an acceptance come decision day. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!